Let's call the meeting to order and rise for the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Usually I'm sitting next, I used to sit next to Bob and tell him to turn this ringer off. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you already told him. He's not listening. You know, not. It's good to have you with us tonight, Bob. I know you missed a few meetings for your health, and it's good to see you. Well, I'm, I'm glad to be here, and uh, we're, we're making progress. So. That's good. Good, good. good to hear. All right. Um, First up, we have commissioners. How about that? How about that? Can we defer to Mr. Higginbotham to give uh, his project report? Okay, very, very quickly, not much happening since you've seen this the last time. As always, the, the highlighted yellow numbers are what changed since you've seen this report since the last time. Two of the projects, though, a little bit of progress. Uh, <coughs> number 11, the jail window project. That was originally scheduled to start uh, last week. It, they, the contractor called and they will not start till January 3rd, but it will start because they've already supplied the jail with their, uh, the employees that are going to be working there so that they can do a background check and clear those folks for it to start. So that project will start on January 3rd. And then the circuit court judge's office security the camera, which was the last item to put in, uh, was put in Monday, so that project has been finished. Any questions? Well, I've got you. Well, I've got the floor. Recall at your last meeting, you indicated that uh, remember we hadn't received our uh, naming rights money uh, for the fairgrounds as of. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we still haven't received that. You authorized to spend money from your one-time account for some furniture. Uh, we've ordered that. It has been delivered already. Uh, so we have uh, all the furniture at the fairgrounds down, and the commissioners will determine a rental rate uh, at their next meeting with the anticipation that that rate will give us a two-year payback for rental so that we can continue to replace furniture. Uh, the total bill for that was $38,378. That was for 650 chairs, 90 uh, five-foot tables, and 10 six-foot tables, and 10 high-top tables. So we paid for that with a credit card, so the bill hasn't come yet. Um, my question to you is, do you want to encumber that money or just take it out next year? Because the bill won't, we claimed uh, for this year close today, so it won't be paid until next year's money. My recommendation is that we they file the claim when it comes, pay it out of our one time. When we get the money from the bank and we appropriate that, then we can pay general fund, pay that line item back. And I, we're still anticipating getting the money before the end of the year, so we may be able to just pay it directly from that would be possible if we get that. It has to be appropriate. It, it will have to be appropriate. Yeah. Which, which means that if you don't get it advertised, correct. Yeah, that's Yeah, timing-wise, depending on when the credit card bill comes in, you still may have to pay it out of the one time. If we get that money before the end of the year, it's, it's too late to advertise for our first meeting. We can do it for a workshop next. Yeah, correct. Yeah. correct. And if it's on the credit card, there'll be a month lag anyway. Yeah, we, we don't have the bill yet, so, yeah. so I understand, let's just take it out next year and repay it when we get the draw. Okay. And we'll appropriate that money okay. when, when it comes in okay. as soon as we can next year. Um, Bobby, can you put that down to advertise for next workshop? Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then to, to Tony's comment last meeting, we'll, we'll plan <coughs> on doing a fairgrounds presentation at your workshop. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank good. you. And then do we... I think we need to make it official, the amount. We did not do that at our last meeting, that we're encumbering the $1,081,000. Um, I, I, I signed your name to a document that you said. No, well, well, you told me to. <laughs> Thanks. And I've already, already submitted it. Remember okay, I, gotcha. Remember, I emailed that to you. Signature too. I, I emailed that practicing. to you. Yeah. Okay. 
I didn't, didn't do it with that drawing. Uh, I know you didn't. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that we were. It's, it's already. That's already in the works. That's okay. the number one million one eighty one. Yes. One twenty two. Yes. Because all those things are definitely under contract. Yes. And we need to do that so yes. we don't have to deal with it later. Okay. Any yeah. questions for Steve on projects? I just want to say thank you for all the things that have gotten done and how quickly things have gotten done and fairly smooth this year. That's, That's because it was me. Was it you? The new guy. guy. <laughs> Jeff is in my office every morning. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and when he leaves there, he calls me. Ken was in his office every night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Makes he a difference if you're doing it. That was the work day. Yeah, don't uh, feel bad. He leaves your office. He calls me. A couple of things that that uh, I give the opportunity for folks to go over. So, Brad and, and uh, Max, do you want to share about the gazebo at the fairgrounds? Uh, it has it has arrived. Yeah, and I have a photo up here. Everything will pass around to the council yesterday morning about eight o'clock. Actually, it's Monday morning. Monday morning. Monday morning. Oh, yeah, Monday morning. Monday. Yeah. So on my way to work, and I saw it one. It, it absolutely looks it wonderful. That's really nice. That's we are nice. going to get some electric out there, and I've already said we need Christmas lights on it. Is it sitting where it's going to sit? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Yes. Has it been anchored down yet? No. Yeah, no, they're working on it. Steve said they're working on that. So we'll, next we'll, 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 run, we'll, we'll anchor it with four by four posts below cross staff, and they'll be uh, lag to the runners, and then we'll trench some electric to it so we can have some outlets and lights to it. I was there for a short time when they were setting it, and it, it is nice, really beautiful. Nice. Yeah, and uh, as far as the uh, signage yeah. agreement, uh, Brad and I have talked today about some minor things that we wanted to get addressed in that, and hope to have that taken care of shortly after. And I did give it to Ron, and he's going to give it to the draft up to you, so you can take it to your board. And yeah. So our thanks to uh, to Farm Bureau Absolutely. Uh, for this uh, donation, and remember that this is this is the payment for uh, naming rights agreement on the on the uh, show livestock show arena. So uh, so we're working through all those details, but much appreciated. It's a beautiful uh, addition to the fairgrounds. Hey Jeff, I do have a question now that you've said that. Are we making a sign to put their name on, on that arena? Or they will make they're the making sign. it. Part of the agreement is that we have to make and maintain the sign. But it's not done yet. No. Okay. Thank you. We will welcome the first wedding at the fairgrounds gazebo. You can just yes. see a nice wedding in that gazebo. Very good photo opportunity for multiple things there. Uh, the uh, Fleet Management Committee met uh, this evening and have uh, been discussing for several months now a, an alternative way to dispose of surplus vehicles. You know, we have for many, many years been holding those until the one auction, usually in October uh, of each year. And that, uh, depending on how many vehicles we have that we need to dispose of, really uh, puts, uh, it, it creates a used car kind of parking lot area uh, that uh, isn't very attractive and takes up space. And so we've been talking about different ways that we could dispose of, uh, of those surplus vehicles and those that have been vetted that we don't want to transfer it to another department for one reason or another. Uh, and so the recommendation is that uh, we, we work with a group called HighBid.com. They are registered with the state of Indiana. They meet all the requirements. Uh, for us to be able to use them to dispose of uh, surplus merchandise. Uh, and so the recommendation from the Fleet Management Committee is that we do a test with two vehicles. One is the old uh, animal control pickup truck, and the other is a, uh, a 2015 Tahoe K9 unit. Uh, and we want to 
put those in, in this auction um, and, uh, and test and see how this works. So what do they charge? It's a 5% uh, charge for, based on whatever the, the vehicle brings. Uh, and uh, we can, we do have the ability to set a reserve. Uh, I don't know, if, is there an additional charge if we set a reserve? So, uh, so the, the, again, the recommendation is that we test this uh, with, with these two vehicles, see how it works, see if we need to make any modifications to how we do that uh, with this, this group, uh, which is uh, it's part of Walter and Hawk and it's how they... It's through a local entity. So, uh, so we'll work with them. They put it on this website, as I understand it. Sell it for us, so uh, that way we can immediately take it to, to uh, Walter Hawkins. Uh, they'll put it on their lot uh, and for display, at least. You know, we'll say that it's for sale on this website, uh, and then it'll be for sale on the website. They can we work with them to determine how long it stays on the, that site uh, before it's actually sold. So uh, we'd like for permission to go ahead and uh, try this out. Jeff, can I ask a question? Of and course you may, It's Kathy. really strange that you mentioned that because I had a gentleman call me, it was either yesterday or the day before, and he thought that the county had impounded vehicles. And I said, you would have to ask the sheriff, I didn't think so. But the gist of what he was calling for is he, he and his wife are on a crossroads. Yeah. And he has, um, a fellow nonprofit working on vehicles to help people that have come out of addictions and need of transportation. He's working on these and he's trying to find some. So I and I said, well, you might talk to you, you know, you guys or the city about impounded vehicles. So I don't know if I get the information if that's something that maybe I don't know how many we might have this year, but if that's something that could be looked at to maybe help. We can look at it, but we'd like to, to try this route uh, with these two vehicles. Well, I think these two vehicles would not qualify for that consideration because they'll be sold with the equipment in them on that law enforcement side of that auction, correct? Is that the discussion? Uh, these will. These two will not, but the, the, the truck will be. Okay. And the, uh, yeah, they'll pick off the top. The, these two won't, but there will be others with that. Okay. But if something comes up that would, you know, I can get the info and have them talk to you. But I just thought I'd mention it. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Um, so I think I'll make, make a motion that we um, use this highbid.com for the test on these two vehicles. I'll second that motion. Any further discussion? It's just us. Yes. Hearing none, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries, and I—I I don't know. It wouldn't hurt to have council uh, support that. Support that. Do so I have a motion supporting them using I did. So moved. Second. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 There you go. We support you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, we are uh, wrapping things up for the year. Uh, appreciate all of you who were able to participate in our. Uh, holiday uh, luncheon last week nice. it, was, it was well attended and, and very nice uh, and uh, are looking forward to another strong year in 2024. Be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Don't have any questions for Mr. Plaster. Let's move on. All right, let's move on. So um, I got excited at one of our last meetings and forgot to approve the minutes from the month before. <laughs> so we have a motion. Uh, I need a motion to accept the minutes from our November 1st meeting. So moved. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And also from our uh, workshop from last month, the November 15th workshop. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? 
If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. All right, we got that all taken care of. One other thing from the plea today, I just forgot. Um, last month we talked about the health department's truck that wasn't available. They have got a truck purchased. It was a little over three thousand dollars more than what was original. It's still all paid out of the uh, health department's reimbursement fund. So uh, that's behind us. I don't feel like we've done anything that didn't cost more than we planned for this no, year, right. especially vehicles. We've had just unique circumstances. Yeah, at least we've knowledge. gotten vehicles. Yeah, That's fine. a good thing, fine. yeah. All right, um, we have a quick thing to take care of. Um, the uh, drain improvement money of $55,000, uh, that needs to get transferred in January. So if we can approve this transfer, it can happen right after the first of the year. From, um, we talked about taking it out of our one-time money during budgets because uh, Gordon had come and asked this, for that. This is for the dish. The dish, Correct. yes. Yes, so I just need a motion to transfer from that from general to uh, the drain. <coughs> I'll make the motion. Motion by Kathy. Second. Second by Tony. All in favor? Aye. All right. Any opposed? There are none. <coughs> Um, we have a page of cleanup that um, Amy has provided for me from the auditor's office, and um, there's really not very much on here. I'm shocked. Uh, there's only a couple little rounding errors. Now, at the bottom, you can see that uh, there's a negative 12,437.23, and that's if we just total everything that's payroll related and pay it. Or her, the next total down there, negative 9,296.63, is if we use these options she has over here to the right-hand side of the page, uh, just taking it out of line items where there's money in those people's budgets. So it's up to you all if you want to, which, whichever way you want to do it, it all comes back to journal. It's probably, you know, six of one, half a dozen of another. Um, the only thing she was questioning is about the, the ones from the court. Sometimes um, she was worried about moving money around in some of their line items. Maybe we should just go ahead and, and just do the option where we just pay it all and let that other money come back to general. Now, I guess I'm a little confused. How is there a $3,000 difference in the options between the 9000 and the 12000 because she, I, I think because some of that she was taken out of people's <coughs> budget line items and then it, the, only the 9,000 would come out of general instead of just taking all 12 out of general. So what is the Those total, are her reasons right there. What is the total amount that we would be approving? The total amount is the 12,437. Okay. It's just we could have her move some around out of their line items, or it's probably easier to just pay it all out of general. Out of appropriated general. Yeah. In order to have that still available. Probably out of council contingency. Okay. I think that's how we usually do it every year is just to do that. Now, are these only payroll cleanups? Do you have other cleanups for us? This is the first time I've seen this. I know she just finished it, I think, right before our meeting. But you ha you're, you don't have any other cleanups from the whole county? I can't tell you. I haven't talked to her I yet. I guess that there will be. There I should be. So. There always is. Exactly. exactly. Usually, um, usually we, get, we have a list of those to uh, approve the whole list. Can you get that to us first thing in January at our meeting? Anything yes, that's there is a list to be made. Well, it usually comes from the auditor of all the things that are. Didn't, uh, you set it up so that you and Tony are able yes. to meet with the auditor. Oh, yeah, we were going to we're gonna look at that. Then we still need to take action. If they can and change. then officially we approve that. So uh, we'll need to just get together and with when you come up with whatever needs to be transferred. Can you just keep, like email that to Tony and I so we can. Sure. Look at all of it. That'd be great. Thanks, Mark. So, Beth, do you need a motion on this twelve thousand? Yeah, we need a motion. I think these are all just payroll things because that's why she's been working on this. So, all of these.
general fund? They're out of different people's budgets, and then it's all, we need to just take it out of. Well, it is all payroll. It is general, isn't it? So I'm not, I'm not sure what the difference is either. I haven't seen it. She just got it finished right before our meeting started. It's just cleaning up all the leftover payroll items so at the end of the year. Well, it's quartz. The ones There's there, a couple that are quartz. The ones that are shaded will make up this. The box that I have. Mm -hmm. So the, the others are added to make the 12. To make the 12. Yeah. So it sounds like it'd be simpler to transfer it all out. I think so. Yeah. I would move to do that. You said she just finished typing this up? She, yeah, she just finished it right before Who's I meeting started. Amy. Because she's been working on me. We asked her to work on this a couple weeks ago, I think, at our meeting to make sure everything was I didn't know ready about. to be cleaned up. I think you weren't in here. Um, I'm always around. Okay, so did we have a second? Tony made the motion to second. motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. And then I think everything else. Let's do Ron real quick on that. Ron, do you have the stormwater agreement? I do. Uh, Is it ready? Briefly, it's just an interlocal between the uh, county, town of Cambridge City, uh, whereby the uh, fees for the Cambridge City stormwater district will be collected through the tax collection process that is added to the semi-annual development real estate taxes. Uh, confession, I did this hurriedly three weeks ago and have not been in a hurry since. So I had the wrong signature template from a prior year of council. So I had <laughs> I had Kimberly Walton as your auditor and I had Barry, I had Roger Smith instead of Barry Ritter. So if you approve it, I'll get a cleaned up signature uh, template for the uh, council. I think I got the commissioners right. Uh, but essentially it's a three year term. Try it out, see how it works. Uh, Mark's identified the issues he has with it. We, basically wanted to cover his cost, which I, the way I interpret the myriad of statutes, uh, that, that's a requirement. So the first year to allow for the conversion of the system, whatever that means, uh, the fee will be $1,500 to be paid uh, within 30 days uh, of the execution of the agreement by the town. And then in subsequent years, for the other two remaining years, it'll be a dollar per parcel I uh, told to estimate between 800 and 900 parcels. So uh, it'll be the responsibility of the town to keep us current with any transfers or changes in uh, how the fee should be assessed. There's a contact person identified in the agreement to whom all complaints, questions, comments uh, will be directed to in the town. It's clerk treasurer, Sherry Irvin. And uh, other than that, it's uh, basically full indemnity for the county if there's any issues or, or costs incurred and the town's responsible. So that's it in a nutshell. Has the town approved this? Pardon? Has Cambridge approved this? Yes. I don't have a problem with it as long as the auditor wants to do it. For him. That's, that's I, I, totally up Mark, to him. So. Mark's been highly involved. I also did check with Nancy. She has no problem with it all. Okay. So the, they will be the seeing the auditor and the treasurer have to sign off on it as well, right? I'd move for proof that the agreement with Cambridge City. Second. Motion and a second. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. There are none. <clears throat> I will, and this needs commissioner approval as well. I will give it. Uh, if it doesn't need commissioner approval, I don't think you voted on it. No, 
Uh, may I motion that we approve the interlocal agreement with King City to collect those taxes for the water and sewage stolen water? I think it's the worms. I, I can't support it. I'll second the motion. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Nay. Motion carries. Signature Kemp of the commissioners is clean. You want to sign that, and I'll get a cleaner and I'll get a clean one. We screw you down. Council will do that. Reflects the front of each ship. Other towns handle their own building, and I think Cambridge City should too. We'll get a lot of complaints, and they're going to be disruptive to the old design. Yeah, we're getting ready to do that. Are we done with this so. agreement? Okay. Assigned. All right. And now I'm going to turn it over to Max for personnel for a salary ordinance amendments. I passed out uh, copies to each of you on the amendments that's put forth. These are basically just clean up things, start going into the first of the year. Um, we've already had one uh, amendment to the 24 ordinance. So, the first one here starts with uh, number two. Uh, the first two address the changes we approved last meeting on the 4D uh, accounts, uh, basically for the hours that those would be paid out of the fund uh, that they have available. Um, the next two or three deal with assessors, um, and it's dealing with cleaning up the way that the stipend is handled for those that have the uh, level one and level two certifications from the state. Um, the, on the number six, the assessor of Wayne Township, um, that's doing the same thing there um, versus the other two. The, or, no, the, the ones, Number four is the county. Number five and six deal with the township. Uh, number seven and number eight are because the auditor's office changed some fund numbers. We have to amend the salary ordinance to concur with the new numbers of the funds, and that's what those uh, two are doing for community corrections. You want a motion to take care of all of these at once, which I think would be so That would be amazing. I would move that we approve uh, the salary ordinance amendments 24-22 through 2024-8. Second. Motion and a second. Any other questions about this? If not, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? There are none. Does anyone have any... Uh, reports or anything to say? I'm just sorry. a, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I'll just say something. Okay. Uh, just a uh, reminder that at the uh, workshop in January, I asked for you to put on the agenda for uh, my consulting team to deliver the um, emergency communications report that we've been doing in the county. Uh, there's been a lot of time and work put into that, and, and I have to commend uh, Matthew and Aaron and their team downstairs for the work that they've done and the assistance that they've given us to do that. It's a pretty comprehensive report. Um, I'm saying for presentation question and answer, give us 25, 30 minutes. And remember that we're going to put that at the end of the, of the meeting and call an executive committee session, a joint session with council mm -hmm. commissioners to, to take that report. Anybody else? Um, I, uh, sorry, Jeff. We had the health board meeting yesterday, and you all can chime in because you were there as well. The um, What they were talking about, the COVID and the flu numbers being up in RSB. So if people haven't gotten out and done it, you might want to make sure you get out and get the vaccinations, and I'm pretty sure they have those now. And there is one for folks that are 65 and over for RSV, and they're getting hit pretty well with that people are so please get out and take care of that and our health department is moving along with the new programs coming on for 
the, the governor's new uh, program that I can't Indiana, oh gosh, Indiana First is, I can't remember, I think that's what it's called. Does sound right? Anyway, they're working very hard, diligently on all of that, so. Uh, one thing, we had um, saved about $150,000 in our ARPA money for voting equipment that's required for next year. And uh, Debbie informed me that she actually got a grant from the state for the entire amount. Wow. Yes, she was expecting five to ten thousand dollars and the next day they called her and told her the whole thing was granted so uh, that's good and then we're all set for our 2024 presidential year um, if I may just may. wanted to uh, remind you all that, that you authorized Beth to get with me and put together numbers for additional appropriations in January to be advertised so uh, the numbers we came up with are ARPA, $11,439,393. For consolidated edit, $4,707,906. For tourism, uh, $999,500. And for the health department, $850,000. Uh, that is the one that we need to work on to figure out what we wanted to, we needed to advertise, so we advertised high. To your meeting in January, we can refine those numbers to what you want to appropriate. If they can go down, you cannot go up. So we tried to get the highest number, you know, a number that was high enough uh, that it would meet the needs. Uh, so those are set. That'll be on your agenda for the January meeting. Just remember, we have 500000 in our budget for health department but they need 850 for the whole year, so we'll have to, and, if that's And one exact. question that, that we need to resolve between now and then is that 500,000, when you we, we move it to the health department, to the health fund, does it then have to be appropriated? So that's why we went ahead and, yep. and advertised that whole number. We'll get a response on that. So we advertise the 850. So there'll be some money in there just left over that we should have that number. If you transfer that 500000 uh, What's the difference? Hopefully that will. There may be a need to transfer a little bit more and we'll have all that information. I don't think they're going to have a whole lot left no. that at the end of this year. So no. it'll just be a little bit. Working on the numbers. I just want to thank everybody for everything you've done this year. All the committees you've served on, all the meetings you've gone to, and how everyone has uh, supported <laughs> the Wayne County in a good way. I've, I'm I'm proud to be part of this council and part of this county. I think we have a lot of good people working here, and it's good to work with all of you. And I think we've, we've been able to collaborate, communicate uh, as great. effectively as we ever have done, and I really appreciate that effort on everybody's behalf. everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Tony. Same to you. Is that it? No. <laughs> I have asked to be on the agenda tonight, and I was, but apparently it was, my, it was removed. Okay, what you need? Well, why was it didn't Wasn't I on the agenda? I questioned it, and they said not to put you on. We didn't know what the reason was for. No, you didn't ask. You didn't tell us what you needed to be on. Well, okay. I'll tell you now. Okay. As you know, I'm going through the process of uh, bringing this county into the 21st century with the method of collection or payment of um, bills. And... I think everybody here has been notified that I was doing that, correct? You said the okay. letter. I want to know when the uh, time comes and I have a contract with Lau to present to the county commissioners, I want to know if they're going to sign it 
and I'm wanting to know if council has money appropriated for me to pay for this. It's going to be about $4,000. your budget somewhere? Correct. I mean, if it's in your budget. No, it's not in my budget. It's not this was all done after um, budgets were given. You have a slush fund in your within the county's budget of $3 million. I didn't know if you could take it out of that. If not, I'm asking whether you would provide money to pay for this contract. And I'm asking if the contract will be uh, signed by county commissioners. What's the contract for? It's for the implementation, implementation of this process of paying the claims by it's digitally. Cloud. It's for software from Lao. But can I correct one thing you said? You said slush fund. We don't have we don't slush fund. That's what, that's what I don't I want the people listening to yeah. no, that. That's me. And you also asked whether the commissioners would sign a contract that we have not seen. Yeah, we have yeah, to that's not a You have to commit to sign something. You will have a contract from Lao for $4,000. And so if I we gave you a copy that, of the um, letter of intent with Lao. If you, if you give us a copy, like we do with every I'm asking whether, before I continue down this road, if if there is an objection to, to doing this, or if there are um, issues whereby you wouldn't sign a contract. There's too many yes. variables for us to commit to something I think without re reviewing the contract. Yeah. Exactly. But speaking for myself, Mark, if this is what we need to do to have to have electronic uh, forms that will, will facilitate claim processing and claim requests, then absolutely $4,000 doesn't seem like a lot to pay for a process That's that correct. would work. However, again, you know, we're not going to commit to signing something that we haven't seen uh, and getting, getting Ron's uh, eyes on it to, to see whether there are any issues that, that he might foresee. And one option of the payment would be working through uh, the IT department. A lot of a lot of the uh, software purchases go through IT. You've talked to him about about making sure that it's something that's compatible with what we're already doing and the, the software we have with Lab. So and I discussed that with you this afternoon. That is an option, certainly. So, but but we need to see the contract. So, Mark, is this from Lau or is it not a firm that works with Lau? No, this would be directly with Lau. Okay, and one time when you talked to me about it, I thought it was a, another. No, this is directly to Lau. Adds um, on to what we already used them for. Right. Okay. I'm in my office, I'm married to Lau now and don't have any intentions of changing any of it. Um, I'm concerned about my continue. Uh, I don't know that Lau will give you a contract. I think the, the um, letter of intent that you saw is sufficient on their side to pay this amount of money. That quote was $4,000. Is it a one-time fee or is there every year? What is it? No, this? it's a one-time fee. No licensing at all on the software? Not that I'm aware of. I've talked to several counties that have this system. The, in viewing it, it is something that uh, I'm ready to move forward with. I think it's necessary. And uh, even I'm the old man that uh, nobody thought I could work with a computer. I can, and I am doing that. So. Um, and even to the point where we will be doing budgets in 24 on this system. Uh, there is a system that relates to this, this one, and it provides that uh, county council minutes, commissioners minutes, contracts can all be placed digitally on, on this program and so that everybody here can see them when they need to. So, and so that part of this with a different contractor. So if you would get us a copy of that letter of intent, we'll look at that and we'll, we'll try to get you an answer as quickly okay. as we can. Okay, but you had a copy of it. I'll, I'll get you another one. You can say I had a copy of it. I may very well have, but uh, 
get us another one and send it to all three commissioners and I would think we might as well send it to the council as well. Absolutely. So we can they got to take a look kick at Kick out the money. So get that to us and we'll we'll get you an answer. Okay, I can do that. And please question about ongoing expense for upgrades and annual licensing fees and that sort of thing. So we can have a have full that. picture. Do we have a maintenance contract with one of I assume we do. We pay them on an annual yeah, basis. Yes, right. I don't. I've slept since I looked at the contract. Uh, so, and that's we something. We have that guts all set for the tax bill. Absolutely, and there's through. an annual fee, so I, this could be different. It, it may not be. I don't know. If there are any issues now that you have with me continuing to install this program, I'd like to know about it. I know you haven't. You don't have the contract. Um, but I think it's been pretty well discussed from, from my side with commissioners and the council. And uh, if you have any issues with it, I would like to know about it so I don't continue to go down this road. Well, I think, Mark, if you're checking into something that's going to make the county better, absolutely look into it, and then we'll do our due diligence to make sure that works. And But thank you for that. When you first came in office, you, you, you took us all back to paper and scared us to death. I'm, yes, glad, to, I'm glad to see you're, you, you've grown a lot in your computer skills and you're bringing us back where we ought to be. Who better to do it than me? And I just want to clarify one thing about minutes. Uh, commissioner minutes, uh, council minutes are posted online digitally Absolutely. and have been for decades um, on our website almost immediately. And I think you'd be proud of that. I know I've gone to other counties' websites, and they are certainly not up to speed as uh, Wayne County is on getting our minutes posted digitally in a very rapid fashion. I think we could be proud of that. This would allow the paper copy of those minutes to be posted, and then we, we won't have a paper copy of the minutes. You have a paper copy that she puts you, together. You scan them in after they're signed, and then you can do away with them instead of trying to keep paper. Correct. Yeah, after um, they're signed, you can scan them in. I think that's what we, we might want, want to keep records. paper copies. You know, you know that's we're up to us. We're digitizing the rest of the county. Hmm. We are. The there are, there are certain that. documents that, yeah. that have to have a paper copy yeah. at, at this point. I know the judges won't even take anything from an attorney that's not online or, or digitally given to that judge. So they're already kind of already in the ball game. Have, is, have you checked the statute to make sure you don't have to keep a paper copy of our signed yes. minutes? Yes. Okay. Just, Just bring us all the information. To keep a copy. When you get it. And check with IT to see if it just needs to go through them. Already did. I mean the software. Okay. Already did. Um, IT does, I'm, I keep thinking of things. It's very interesting to come to the department head meeting on, is it always the fourth Thursday? I've been two or three times, or Wednesday? It's, 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 it's the second. second. Wednesday. The second Wednesday of every fourth month. Fourth Wednesday is on a quarterly basis. Uh, we've started having elected official yes department that's a good meeting to come to when you see the notice about that if you can make it i, I learned a lot and uh, it's looking at uh, you know upgrading our phone system and things like that he kind of throws numbers out from time to time that scare you so it's, it's good to know what's going on and, and uh, kind of being made aware of those things ahead of time all right i think we are ready for a motion to adjourn Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.